What's going on, guys? Well, it's Sunday, and I really I try to do a new Excel model, you know, t kind of tutorial explanation every week. Usually, it involves something with finance or you know just uh, uh, an Excel tool. So this week, I was really struggling to figure out what in the world I was going to do, but I found um, something I had done a couple months ago. And this is pivot, uh, you know, pivot table usage. And this is more of an, ad it's not super advanced, but it's a pretty complex way that one might use a pivot table that is helpful that you couldn't really report um, anything in this way unless you used a pivot table. It'd be really very difficult to do anything with this, um, kind of structure. So what I've done is taken an example of QuickBooks data, which stand by one second. Okay, so I think we're good. So I've whited out the description here, so obviously you can't see any client info. And it just has the date. So this is a QuickBooks export. And you've just got the date the invoice number and it's going to have a description here and then you've got the amount of the invoice and the rep that is tied to that invoice um, then you've got a customer number here and these could be actual unique customers but right now it's just a number and then you've got some helper tabs and some macros so the reason why I had to do the macros is because if your QuickBooks export has different lines in it besides just invoices, like you could see here, if there's credit memos or something else, I've taken the macro, and this is just one way you could clean it, there's a whole bunch of ways, but this is just for this, so it actually requires to sort by type first, so this if you click it will so that just put everything in order that puts all the invoices up front and then everything else below and this is very important to do the next thing because now we're gonna sort by date so we sort by date here's here is the issue. What if you have a memo? What if you want to find in you know Excel? You can't do a quick unless you have an array formula, but that's clunky. You can't pick the most re if there's multiple dates. Say there's a date for a memo and a date for an invoice, and you want the date for the invoice to show up as the most recent invoice date. So with this specific information it's required that it's a VLOOKUP and you have to have the date up top for the invoices. If there was a credit memo up here for um, you know a customer number for a customer or for a, a rep then it would pick that date and say that's the most recent date for this rep rather than pick the and it's a max it's a max function and that will be only correct if the invoices are listed first. Anyway, there was a that was one of the really complex struggles of this whole thing, but now it works. Actually, you would sort by date first. So that puts everything in order by date and then you sort by type which puts then it stacks everything in the date it's already sorted. So all the um if it's a most recent date, it'll be up at the top and then all the invoices will be before the credit memos or whatever lines you might have. So that m makes what I'm going to show you in a minute accurate. So then there's a bunch of data cleans on this. And bottom line, you just input like start year and the current date. And based on that, it will go through. And I've built formulas in here. I'm not going to show you the formulas. Um, that's part of the sheet if you buy it. But the formulas will calculate by sales rep and by customer how much revenue they've done for that customer 
given an invoice level. So we have listed this by reps that have done invoices within one to two one to two invoices in the last six months, three plus in the last six months, two or more in the last six months, or none in the last six months. So those are the different reporting categories. So basically this is going to show you, and this is why the pivot table is helpful because you have so much different criteria, but look, at this shows you, and it's listed in uh, order from highest to least, the sales rep by revenue, you can see if you go down the next sales rep, just the initials here, it's going to have less. You see 880 total, and then if you keep going down, next sales rep at 511, then 123, 87, and you see it keeps going down. So the pivot tables are nice, so you can report like this. So anyway, it goes by sales rep, and then it has three different categories. So let me just minimize this so you can see. So it's giving you the total by customer. So it lists all the customers that have they've done one or two invoices in the last six months, and then it sums up the total for that customer. And it gives you the last date that that customer has had an invoice. Obviously, if they've all been in the last six months, then this these dates will be you know within six months of the current date and that's why you would have to enter your start dates um, in current date here so you can see it's going right by your sales reps and that way you can call your sales reps and say hey you've had you know you haven't had this many invoices and last invoice date was here why haven't you called these customers up or whatever um, now the ideal one would be if you the best performance here would be if they've had three or more in six months all the customers that they've done that well that's their recurring now what you'd want to figure out is why where are the customers that they've only had one to two or none in the last six months so this is just one way I mean there's a million different ways you can use pivot tables but this is just one way where you t take a raw data set of where it has all your invoices by sales rep and by customer amount date and it reports an invoice number and it reports on all that so what I'm doing is the template the template here is kinda messy basically the only proprietary stuff is the macros that clean it and then the kind of the layout here generally you're gonna want specific reporting requirements that are different here which will require adjustments and I and for that reason I will include five hours of my time which is thirty eight dollars an hour for free in getting this implemented for your business which I think is very fair and then I'm gonna charge a one-time fee on this template and that's going to be seventy five dollars I think that's a fair price so I'm trying to think if there's anything else uh, let me see if I can add a visual one second okay so I added some visuals here we got basically revenue by customer you see all the list of customers are obviously you might not have as much but here's a thousand and it shows the revenue by customer um, then we have a summary sheet which I did I kind of picked up so I added some more formulas clean the data up a little bit so now I, I can show you what each sales rep has done in total revenue total invoice count revenue in the last six months and then revenue one to two months so it's kind of taking some of the data from the pivot but in a little bit more structured manner that can be used for charts 
and then I've added the charts here so you can see invoice count by sales rep, revenue by sales rep, revenue by sales rep in the last six months, and then revenue by invoice volume. So you can see what volume each rep has done based on if, and let me change this here to 12. So you can see where all the volume of customers has come from and I've done it as an overall count um, you know since the basically whatever raw data is being picked up so it could be multiple years six months eight months whatever the data range is and that could also all be adjusted and you could do specific date ranges as inputs and that would change all this if you wanted but here so it's saying you know obviously the biggest volume for this sales rep is clients that have had invoice three or more invoices in the last six months then two or more in the last six months is lower and one to two in the last six months or none is obviously falling off the map and these in this data this is kind of you know not a nice even figures but it's because it is actually um, skewed but who knows your data could be completely different um, the key is I'm showing you what different reporting things you can do with a simple QuickBooks export and then the the pivot point is probably the best tool but then the visual here and the visual here is is helpful to report on each sales rep and there's all kinds of different charts and data manipulation you could do to get it to report on all kinds of different metrics so I guess that's it. I'm going to get this thing ready. If you want to buy the Excel template, I do accept all credit cards or debit cards. Um, I've partnered with Stripe in order to accept those online payments. And the link will be to my webpage that has more information on this model and the payment method. The link will be in the description box below the YouTube video that goes over to smarthelping.com and once you do purchase I'll send you the Excel template via email and as well as you know you can just contact me or call me I have my number on the site uh, or email me Jason at smarthelping.com for the five free hours of service to try to get this implemented into your own business and the nice thing is that basically a giant amount of people use QuickBooks but this could be used for any kind of sales tracking that you have it would just take a little time to get it set up I do charge an extra $38 an hour beyond the five hours if you want my continued help on this alright have a great day